Hey everybody, Jeff with Flea Fly, and one of the questions that we get asked the most is how do you find crappie in brush piles, and what do they look like, and what do you do when you find a brush pile, what's it supposed to look like? Well, when you drive your boat over a brush pile, it draws out um, kind of like you see here in color, and then it also draws a brush pile out like you're looking at one here on down view or down scan. So I would recommend learning how to use both of these technologies. Um, you can very easily see the crappie off to the left of the brush pile on the color screen, but that down scan gives you a lot more um, detail when you're looking for crappie in the brush. Now once you find the brush pile and you have it located, this is what your brush pile looks like when you're actually setting on top of it. Now when you're setting on top of it, you got to remember that the ping from the sonar is constantly tapping or constantly hitting on the bottom and it's hitting on the brush. That's what makes fish uh, look like long uh, lines on your locator. That's what makes limbs look like long lines on your locator. And that's what the big portion of the brush will look like on your locator. If you look at the top of the screen, you can see uh, some spots that come through there. Now those are fish that actually swam through the cone of the uh, sonar um, as it was sending the pings down there, but the brush is stationary so it is going to get drawn out as long lines. Now once you learn how to use the sonar for finding fish when you're moving or finding brush when you're moving uh, and you know what the brush looks like on your locator you're going to be a lot more productive uh, dropping your crappie kickers down there and picking those big slab crappie uh, up out of that wood pile. So that's a tip from all of us here at Flea Fly. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys buying our tackle and we appreciate you watching the videos. Good luck out there.